Uh, next, we're going to talk about Browns versus Bengals. This was a thriller of a game. This game was incredible. One of my favorite games all year. Uh, Baker Mayfield, after starting off very bad, he was 0 for 5, had the interception uh, where Odell Beckham Jr. got hurt. And uh, while I was in the break for the show, I just uh, heard that he has a torn ACL, which is so, so sad to see. Absolutely big prayers up to Odell Beckham Jr., one of the best players in our game, an elite receiver who is so, so talented. And it's very sad uh, to see him. Uh, us lose one of our best players he's going to be out for the rest of the season and that's definitely going to be a big loss to the Browns uh, it's very very sad to see Odell Beckham Jr. have a torn ACL especially because that was a terrible throw from Baker Mayfield where he completely underthrew Odell and he all Odell was trying to do was uh, make make the tackle and stop that from being a big play and then towards ACL the second it happened it looked like a very scary injury and it clearly was. So prayers up to him. Hope for hoping for a good recovery for him, and hope that he can have a great season next year. Uh, but after that terrible start from Baker, we started 0 for 5. He had zero passing yards in the first uh, quarter. Had the interception. He played absolutely lights out football. 22 for 23 for the rest of the game. 297 yards, five touchdowns. Had some just beautiful balls. That ball to Donovan Peoples Jones for for the game winning touchdown was incredible. Uh, an absolute just laser from Baker Mayfield where he threw a perfect ball. Uh, him and Harrison Bryant connected multiple times. Uh, Harrison Bryant had two touchdowns. Kareem touchdown had a uh, receiving touchdown at the backfield. David and Joku had a touchdown as the tight ends for them were just dominating. But yeah, Baker Mayfield played some lights out football. Uh, Kareem Hunt, 18 carries for 76 yards. Solid game for him. Jarvis Landry on a trick play. I had 19 yards. Jarvis Landry is really good at throwing the ball, man. Uh, Miles Garrett continues to dominate. Uh, another force fumble. Another sack. He's been ridiculous this season. He had two sacks in this one. Uh, he uh, can make a very good argument to be the defensive player of the year. And overall... Their defense didn't play great as they got tore apart by Joe Burrow, but they did make some timely plays. Miles Garrett, like I said, is playing uh, the best football of his life. He's playing excellent football right now. And uh, Baker Mayfield showed up when it mattered and uh, battled against uh, Joe Burrow, who had an excellent game as well. Uh, Joe Burrow is one of my favorite players to watch in the entire league. Uh, it's impossible for me not to just love his game so much. He is so, so talented and clearly pays just so much attention to detail i love joe burrow so much 35 for 47 406 yards uh three touchdowns in the air also had six carries for 34 yards and a touchdown on the ground did have an interception but still played an incredible game played lights out and was not at all the reason uh that the Bengals did end up losing the game as it was more just the browns playing some very good football uh and the Bengals, even though they're one five and one, and that's obviously not a good record at all. It's not where they would uh, want to be. Uh, you got to be happy with how Joe Burrow's playing. Uh, AJ Green is starting to play good, as he's had a very slow start to the season. I was getting worried that it, like it might be over for AJ Green, but he had uh, seven receptions for eighty-two yards. Tyler Boyd had an incredible game in this one, uh, where he had a hundred. One receiving yards and a touchdown. T. Higgins has been uh, very good for them as a rookie. He had uh, 71 yards and a touchdown. Joe Burrow, though, big issue is he did have three fumbles in this one. Uh, and definitely don't like to see that at all. So, got to improve on that. But other than that, this was just an incredible duel where both quarterbacks played a very good game. Uh, and it was a highly explosive offensive game. And I really enjoyed this one. Uh, Browns versus Bengals was really exciting. And even though the Browns uh, did lose to the Steelers and did lose to the Ravens, well, let's not forget they're 5-2. and two. People were acting like after they lost that game against the Steelers that their season was just over. They are still 5-2. and two. Odell being down will be a big loss for them. But I think they could still be a good team. And I think they could still be a team that makes the playoffs.